O M G. Oh my God. We doing the big God broadcast tonight. I am not and I repeat, I am not going to present God in any way, shape or form as our people are used to hearing God. Which is why a lot of our people are now turned off by the idea of God because of religion. Islam, Christianity, Judaism. Religions that seek to make our people docile and put us under a certain um, relegated way of thinking creates a childlike mentality, makes us servitude, make, makes us subservient to the religious powers that be. Tells us that our uh, natural inclinations, our natural perceptions, our natural selves is wrong, evil. Twisted in some kind of way according to these religious laws and these religious statues and commandments or whatever they claim that uh, some higher power called God dictates. It's funny how a God that's supposed to be supreme uses the most lowly people to dictate his law according to what they say. Listen to the people who push religion. Look at them. Look at their lives. These are the people who bred this religious belief in the minds of our people, which is why in the new millennium we're turned off to religion. We're turned off to the idea of a supreme being, a higher power. We are disconnecting ourselves from that, and we've been told to disconnect ourselves from that. We have doctrines today that are encouraging us to disconnect ourselves from a supreme being or supreme intelligence, as we refer to it in the state of Mintel, a supreme intellectual being. We're going to talk about that. God, the big God, sh the big God show or the big God broadcast. What God really is, who God really is. How does he register? What, what is the reality, the logical explanation of God? This is important that we notice as a people that are moving into the future. And we're going to go into everything that I said I promised I would speak about in the feed tonight. I am the intellectual Nubin Minkares, and this is State of Mintel Radio. Who is the true and living God? The logical truth revealed. Now, I talked around this subject several times, you know, um, about uh, the God of intelligence versus the God of belief, things of that nature. I've, I've talked around God, but I've never truly stated the logical explanation of who and what God really is Because see we never had that as a people As black people We've never had a logical Real explanation That made sense to us of what God is We've had all of this religious people With their religious rant and their uh, Rhetoric dictating what God is So I'm not going to give that to our people We had people tell us That God was sitting on clouds And uh Passing laws and judgments on us And that we better behave like this And they basically Gave us God as a character Like Santa Claus Like the Easter Bunny Something that wasn't real Something that we couldn't relate to or register with That's why a lot of our people are turned off Things like metaphysics And all this uh, These nonsense philosophies today That claim that there is no God That everything just happened And everything just There was just a bang and everything just flew into order doesn't even make sense. We're 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 more likely to accept things that sound like that don't even make sense foolishness, all to get out of that whole idea of being subservient under some god. Because we want to be our own gods. We want to be individuals. We want to be our own gods. You know, and that's all based in ego. The black man is embracing and the black woman is embracing metaphysics and all of these so called teachings and these ideologies and philosophies today that de do away with the idea of God because it's based on their ego. They hate the fact that they have to serve the white man in society. So anything that they don't feel they have to, deserve, um, to serve a uh, seen, an uh, unseen power source. They feel they're not going to listen to. So the idea of a God, they get turned off by. Because the black man, he don't want to feel like nobody telling him what to do or he under anything or that. He has to be uh, subservient to anything or, you know, bow down to any higher power. Right? Because he's taught that he's disconnected from it. You're taught that you're disconnected from a higher intelligence. Because that's what God, 
And I only use the word God because that's what our people understand the title of the supreme being by God. So we use that for all essential purposes as the title to the supreme intellectual being. We refer to God in the state of Mintel as an, intel, an intellectual being, a black man who walked the planet as a highly intelligent being, an advanced being, a superman. Have you know? I submit that to you as a superman, a highly intelligent black man who walked the earth with a race of highly intelligent black people, both men and women, who created and gave life to the human race, created the solar system, the biosphere, the uh, biological structure of the human race, brought about a manifestation in the so-called black race who are their bloodline descendants of this God race. It's a race of people, advanced people. God is an advanced man, a highly intellectual being. Right? Now, denying the existence of God Denying the existence of a supreme being, by doing that, we're denying, or when you do that, you're denying the mental and physical evolution of the black man and the black woman. What do I mean by that? What I mean is that we're supposed to be evolving into something. We're supposed to be evolving into a higher race of people, into a higher state of people. That's what we're supposed to be evolving into. We're supposed to be evolving into a higher race of people, into a higher state. We're supposed to be evolving into a higher state of people, a God race, right? An advanced race of people, a supreme being race of people, a, a group of supreme beings, a God race. So if you're saying that a God does not exist or a supreme being does not exist, then you're cutting off our future evolution, our future existence in this world. See, it's easy for the other races, the human race, and the white man, the rest of the races, to say there is no God and to come up with philosophies that teach that there is no God and no supreme being because they're not connected to that. They're not connected to a supreme being. They're not connected to a supreme intellectual being, and they know that. That's why they deny the existence of it, but you can't deny it. You can't deny it. You can't factually deny it. Look at the uh, look at the structure of the universe. Look at the structure, the biological structure of human beings. Look at the structure of the solar system. Look at this. It all is based in order. Order cannot come about by things just exploding out of nowhere and coming back together. When you blow something up, what happens? It blows out of order. Everything lands everywhere out of place. Right? So, obviously, if you say that a Big Bang Theory took place and that th there was no working intelligence or any working mind or any working being behind the order and the structure that we have on this planet today, if you say there's nothing behind that, that doesn't make sense. That's illogical. Because you can explode anything and like I said, things fall out of order. But for things to come in order means that someone had to put them there. There had to be a logical thinking behind that. And that's how we see logically the supreme being, the supreme intellectual being, as a thinking man who, and who gave rise to intelligence in his creations and in his manifestations, a race of people who begat or who gave power to the power of, th of thought to a race of people who are their bloodline descendants, i.e. the black race. However, our people don't look at God this way. We don't look at the supreme being this way as a thinking being. We look at him in a childlike fantasy. Okay, That's how we see God, as a childlike fantasy that was created by the white man. And the rest of the and the rest of the and the other races, we look at God in some childlike fantasy state. In Islam, we look at him as somebody who sits in the clouds in the east. We don't know what the hell that means, but we accept that. You got millions of people, millions of people who turn to the east every day, five times a day, to make prayer to something that they, they don't even understand. And a good a good number of black people are caught in that madness. 
You ask them to explain to explain what Allah is, and they can't tell you. They can't tell you what Allah is. They just tell you that you know we all pray to the east because Muslims pray to the east, and we taught to pray to the pray to the east, and that you know we all this is something we do because the Mecca is in the east. But you're not supposed to be praying to a place. You're supposed to be praying to Allah. Is Allah sitting in the east, or is Allah everywhere? That's the that's the idea. Right? They really don't have any real knowledge or uh, image of Allah. So what do they do when they don't have images in religion of God? They come up with physical um, uh, physical representatives, i.e. so-called prophets, like your prophet Muhammad. We're supposed to believe that this person had a direct talk or connection with God. Right? We are supposed to believe that this person, you know, had visions of God. This is the story that we're told, right? That because he came with an organized religion, that people following thousands of years later from a story that was passed down to people upon people and that people just accepted without any logical, factual, uh, you know, assertions being connected to it, it's just basically people believe in a story, and we accepted that, and people accepted that who became Muslim, right? There's a doctrine that comes along with the belief in Allah, a doctrine called Islam. You have 77 different sects of Islam, 78 counting the nation of Islam, and they all believe differently in certain aspects, certain fine points. They all don't think the same because if they did, there wouldn't be 78 different sects of Islam. Obviously, people don't see it the same way. So that means that the belief is abstract. It's basically what it is you want to make it. How do you see God? All right? Now, you can't really trust that. You understand? You can't really trust anybody. If you tell a, ask a man how did he see God, he can give you 50,000 different explanations on how he sees God. But what is the actual truth? The actual logical truth beyond the shadow of a doubt of what God, the supreme being, is. What is the truth? Because that's what we need to get at as a people who are advancing into the future. We have to know God in order to know ourselves. That's why it's important. If you don't know God, if you don't, if there's nothing, God is supposed to be the state of perfection that we as people are reaching toward. He sets out the evolutionary road for our people to travel, especially us as black people, because we're supposed to be traveling that evolutionary road toward higher intelligence, toward his intelligence. But what we've been doing, what we've been doing instead is moving in a circle of ignorance, and that circle of ignorance represents religion that has us doing things in a rotation, and we don't even know why things, uh, uh, traditions, and all kinds of uh Rituals that were created by men has us doing it in circular motion and whatnot, and we're being told or lied to that these things are wanted and these are the things that are necessary to connect to God or to that higher power. These are the things that we've accepted that was taught not really to us but to other people of other races within their religious beliefs that we accepted as we joined on to these religious beliefs or that we were forced to enjoy, um, join on to. So we never truly, in this day and time, uh, 2012, have taken on a logical explanation or a logical intelligence on what God really is, on what the supreme being really is, because we still got the religious belief. We still got that childlike mentality of what God is implanted in us. And a lot of our people are trying to grow up right now. So they're not really trying to hear that, especially the younger generation. They're not trying to hear God. They're not trying to hear religion. Because when they hear God, they hear religion attached with it. You understand? They hear suppression. They hear forced laws. They hear people telling them they have to be in church and they have to do this and they have to sing and they have to dance and they have to, you know, uh, praise the Lord and fall on the floor and pray five times, two times, three times, whatever, many times a day. And, and you know, and they got to go against what they feel is their natural inclination. Right? This is what they're told in religion, and they don't want to do that. Our people don't want to do that. Our people don't want to worship a God. Right? 
our people don't want to worship a God in religion, the majority of our people. Even our people who worship the God in Christianity, in Islam, in Judaism, whatever, y'all really don't want to do it. You know how you, you know how I know that? You know how you really know that's the truth? Because our people constantly fight against it. Our people live one way in the church, and then they go outside and live a whole other way. They do something totally different from what it is they claim they believe in. They live a totally different life. Now, if you can't even follow that way of life in the church, you understand? If you can't follow that way of life in the church, if you can't, you know, live that on the outside when you're not sitting in the church, then you're being a hypocrite. You out in the, you out in the street and you laying up with everybody, the woman laying up with everybody, the black man's a homo in the church, not even, he don't even wait to get outside the church. He's a faggot in the quiet. You understand? This is what's going on. You know, he's doing this in church. He molesting, they molesting kids in the church. Sylvester, the um, singer from the um, 80s, the gay singer, disco singer from the 70s and the 80s, Sylvester, he's homosexual. He said he got turned out in the church. All right? He said the, the black choir is the biggest place to get turned out. He said that's the gay men's, um, um, he said, that's, how do you put it? That's the gay men's transformation club, the choir. Hmm? How you like that? Ain't that something? Now, where did we where did we get that from? Where did we get that mentality from? Could we adopted this sick idea of the church and our connection with it from hey the Arabs who sit up here, smoke hashish and do all kinds of filth? You understand? Did we get that idea from them about religion? The ones who forced religion on us? Did we get it from the white Christians who forced Christianity on us? Jesus. And a lot of our people, after even after the idea of Jesus was exposed, you understand, as being ripped off from an ancient Egyptian story of Arset and Horus, even after that idea was exposed, you still got our people talking about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. In the church, you still got our people ignoring the fact that we had that Jesus is a Greek God. I brought that out in the book that Jesus is actually a Greek God called Jupiter and Zeus combined together from the church. Our people still talking about Jesus. That's a mental program. Our people are still in the church. You understand? Our people are still worshiping the the um God of the white man. We're still doing that. We're still worshiping his God. We're still worshiping his Jesus. Or we not, in, or we go the other way and we start talking about spirituality, which is some other, other abstract form of nonsense where we say, oh, I know it's a higher power, but I'm not connected to religion. Okay, that's a good start. But you need to connect yourself mentally to the God in you, the future intellectual being. God is the advanced stage of the black man and the black woman. God is not only one man, but a race of beings, a new civilization, a society of highly intelligent beings. And that is a race that is coming out of the black race. We are giving birth to the God race, the almond beings, the almond race. That's coming out of our genetics. Out of our bloodline as we are advancing and evolving. And when I talk about evolution, I'm not talking about the way the white man made it with some damn monkey from some man and whatnot. That's talking about the human race. That ain't got nothing to do with us. You understand that? I'm talking about a advanced, highly intelligent race of beings that exist in all different, all higher forms and dimensions who are evolving out of the black race. We are in a state of evolution. We are not finished being who we are. We're not finished in our evolution. You understand? We are constantly in a state of becoming, but we're cutting ourselves off. You understand? We're cutting ourselves off because we are acknowledging and taking part in the philosophies of everybody else. We're taking part in the philosophy of the white man, the Arabs. You understand? Especially here in America and American pop culture. We're into metaphysics. A lot of our people reading these BS spirituality books. There's a guy, there's a person called Eckhart Tolle. I don't know how many of you heard this person before. 
he wrote a book on spirituality and the new earth and all this. And I, you know what? I saw black Israelites reading this book. Now, these guys sat up here and read the Bible and talked about the white man with the devil, but yet you're reading a book about spirituality from Eckhart Tolle, some white man or some Indian, whatever the hell he is. You mean to tell me you got to get your knowledge through the white man now? A lot of y'all, y'all don't even hide the fact that you run to the white man to try to connect to what God is. The Israelites, they run, and they're talking about King James and some madness that he talked about, and to the point they try to make him a black man. They come up and they paint, make this fake picture of King James and paint his face black, talking about he was an Israelite. That's you know, y'all just do that just so y'all can hide the fact that y'all got to run, y'all y'all don't want to admit the fact that you got to run to the white man, that you still run into, to, that you still run into the white man for things, that you run into him for your knowledge. You understand that? Y'all still do that. Y'all don't really have a clue on the, the the mankind doesn't really have a clue on what God is. That's why they never present a picture of God. They tell you that God is unseen. They tell you that God, you don't no one knows what God is. Nobody truly understands God. So how the hell do you worship something you don't know what it is you're looking at or what you're worshiping? How do you worship some unseen thing? How do you know that there is a God? If you if you're gonna sit up here and say that nobody really understands God, but we know God is here, based on what? Based on what? Based on belief? I could believe anything. I could believe a dog is God. Since it, since we don't have to have, have the burden of proof of proving that there is, in fact, a God. You know, I could believe that a dog is God, a cat is God. You understand? Why not? If it's all based in belief, people come up with beliefs every day and philosophies every day. Where is the logic in it? Where is the reason? Where is the intelligence in it? We gave our intelligence in the state of Mintel based on the creations, based on the intelligent creations that had to be crafted by the hands of intelligent beings. That's factual. That stuff didn't just get here by itself. Trees growing at a certain time and rate, a solar system, a planet in rotation, biological structures of human beings, all this, and animals. That is a thinking mind behind that. That's where we start. As black people in a state of evolution, that a thinking mind is behind these creations. All things are mental. God is a mental being, a man with a brain, with a mind, the same as we have, but advanced, way more advanced. If we see God as he actually is, then we will understand it and we will see the God coming out in ourselves. Let's stop with this belief. And accepting the belief of the Arabs and their false God, Allah, or their the Christians and their false God, Jesus. You understand? They'll tell you one minute that nobody knows how God looks, but then they'll paint some white picture of somebody sitting on the cloud. I thought nobody knew how God looked, and why are you painting a picture? Why are you giving a picture of a white man with long hair and saying that's his son? Why don't y'all talk about where you really got that from? From the group, from the Greeks and the, and the, and the um, Romans and their mythological gods. Where did they get this whole idea of God being unseen and hidden? I'm gonna tell you. That is from the name Amen, A M E N. The name Amen means unseen or hidden. The name Amen is actually the name of God. Look in your Bible. There's a reason why it's throughout your Bible. Where they say amen and you think you're sealing off your prayers with the name amen and that that's just something that means uh, so let it be said. No, that's actually the name of God that they took out of Egypt, which came from Sumeria, which came through Nubia. It's not an Egyptian name. It's not a Sumerian name. This is actually the title of a race of people that walked the earth, a God race, a supreme race, a black race, so-called black race of people that walked the earth. Now, a lot of our people who caught up in religion have a hard time accepting that, but it's funny that you didn't have a hard time accepting some unseen God called Allah or that he walked in the image of a white man like the Nation of Islam teach or some mulatto or whatever they, they teach that he came in the image of. Yeah, nobody had a hard time accepting that. But if we say that the Amun race or Amun or the God walked in the, walked in the image of a black man, our people have a hard time accepting that. Even our ancient ancestors, the Egyptians, the Nubians, and all of them had statues of them painted of God, of Amun, 
of Aset and all these other gods and goddesses, which were nothing but futuristic black people, people of the future, who they said came to them in physical form and taught them how to build these things, where they said the pharaohs had connection with these god beings. You understand? That's a fact. But we don't accept that as the truth. When logically, I could accept that. Because look at the structures in which they built. They were way ahead of their time. So a higher intelligence has to intervene. What do we know about this God? We know that God is highly intelligent. Obviously, he's a man. Obviously, he's a black man. Because the first people to present God were black people. And they presented him as a black man who came to them in physical form. The white man and the Arabs and the East Indians, they had the first black gods too. But then as later on, as their civilization started coming up, they start painting the pictures white. You understand? That's what it is. God walked the earth as an intelligent black man. And the more, the minute you black men start accepting that God walked the earth as an intelligent black man named Amun, and then you'll start to see your evolution taking place. But as long as you stay caught up in religion, as long as you still stay caught up in the mentality of the white man and his, what he taught you God was, which was some unseen being or some spook or somebody selling cloud or some abstract apparition of some spiritual nonsense, you understand, that you all accept it, then you're not going to advance, you're not going to connect to it. Because all they did was teach you that you were not connected to God. That's why they were able to teach you any, anything about God. They didn't make it plain to you like we're going to make it tonight. We didn't, they didn't make it simple to you. They didn't make it where you can understand because you're supposed to understand everything. You're supposed to understand God. How the hell are you going to worship a God that you don't understand, that you have no idea about? You're supposed to have a concrete explanation on what God is. If you do not have that, then you shouldn't even be worshiping no God or, under, or even talking about no God. And that's how they could come to our people with nonsense like metaphysics and tell them, oh, oh, why are we still talking about God? Ain't no God. We don't need no God. What are you niggas talking about? What are you talking about? The white, most of you guys that say, I'm going to tell you straight, most of you guys that say that, the white man is really your God. And why I say that is because he stepped in the way, he stepped in as your, uh, your in- intellectual connection. You go to him for your thinking. You run to him in metaphysics. You understand? Because y'all big with that whole metaphysics thing now. A lot of our people in there, they think they're saying something deep. You run to him in masonry. You run to him in Islam with your white Arabs. You run to him in the Bible under that King James nonsense that y'all lying talking about he a black man. Y'all run to them. So they're your gods. You ask them what they think. You ask when a black man like myself is presenting logical explanations on what God is, first thing y'all do, y'all run and go, well, what book you read that in? Meaning, where did the white man say that? So if you have to run to him to get his, uh, uh, his approval, his logical approval or his uh, uh, authority on it, because when you run to the author, the word author, inside the word author, you see the word authority. That means he's your God. He's your authority. You look to the author as your authority. All your ideas that you black men have, you know, all your, all these ideas that you black men have of what God is, you got from some white man. That's what it is. You got it from some white man. I don't care if you're a Muslim I don't care if you're a Christian. I don't care if you're an Israelite. You got it from some white man. You go to the core of everything they talk about, it comes from some white man. And what does he do? He, because he's not connected to the supreme being or the supreme intellectual being, he's going to make things up. He's going to lie to you. He's going to cause confusion because he don't want you to have that connection. You understand? How do we reconnect? Simple. Acknowledge God as a supreme intellectual being. Acknowledge God as a supreme intellectual being, a supreme intellectual black man, as you should be acknowledging yourself, one who is in a state of evolution toward becoming that. Make your connection with God by seeing yourself as that being. Have an ultra standing, a complete comprehension of what that is within you and connect to that. Stop making God uh, um, disconnected from you. 
We are supposed to be in a state of becoming. I said it before and I'm going to say it again. When you deny the existence of God, you are denying our future existence because we're supposed to be existing in a future state as God, as a God race, as a race of almond beings. Amen. Human. Amen. These words are not from the Egyptians. They're not from the Nubians. Those names were passed on to them. The name, the, it's no coincidence that the name Amun still exists in this day and time, that the white man kept it in religion. He kept it at, um, sealed, sealing, the name, sealing off the prayers in, um, in Islam and Christianity and Judaism for a reason. The followers of these religions don't even understand why they kept them there. Because they're telling you, that was their way of telling you in Freemasonry that the true and living God is Amun. They're going to tell you that Amun was a black man, a futuristic black man, a highly intelligent black man that walked the planet. Look at the statues of Amun in Egypt. Look at the story. Talk about the story of the um, of Enki and Enlil and them in Sumeria. It's the same person, Amun, in all that, meaning Lord. The word in, E-N. The word E-N means Lord. Same people. Then we became men. Then we became our men. It was people getting an understanding of those lords on earth. Adonai. Adore. Which came into the Latin. Which came into the Hebrew. All of that went into our languages. These were developing languages because ideas of who the supreme intellectual being was was developing in our heads as they came here. They walked with man. These supreme beings walked with man. They walked with the black race. I was sitting there, I was watching um, Ancient Aliens. Now, many of you who don't know this show, Ancient Aliens, Aliens is on H2, History Channel 2, and they're talking about these God beings coming to, coming to the earth, being futuristic. And I've been talking about that. You understand? But what do our people do? They want to make, they want to place all these gods as myths. I, and I hear simple-minded Negroes do this, especially the Egyptology ones. They, they make me laugh. I'm like, why are you sitting up here talking about Egyptology if you consider God to be a myth? They're telling you when they're showing you Amun and they're showing you Aset and Osiris and all that, or they're talking about Enki and Enlil and all that from Sumeria, all of these gods in Nubia, they're talking about a race of futuristic beings. That's what they're talking about. Uh, women with wings on and whatnot, people building pyramids. These are futuristic people that came to them in the past. You understand that? This was a race of people. These were real people that came to them. Why? If you, if I got an image up, you understand, and I'm doing the image of somebody, obviously somebody's looking like that. I'm not just painting it out of my head. When you, in your imagination, you have to see an image of something. Yes, Amin is alive today. He is alive in the black race. We are the physical descendants of Amun. We are Amun beings. We're not part of the human race. And I know that might sound funny to you, but I'm going to break that down and explain that. Look at us and look at everybody else. I keep saying that all the time. We're not part of the human creation, the so-called black race. Look at your hair. Look at your skin. Look at how your hair grows. You're part of a whole other um, creation or manifestation on the planet. The God beings came looking like you. They are your future ascension. They are your descendants. I mean, you should, I should say um, they are your ascendants. They are what we, where we are becoming because with each generation, each ch when we bring forth children, they're more advanced than us. Are they not? Yes, they are. They're more advanced than us. So they are the God race. They are the almond race. We were always that almond race. Not part of the human race. The almond race begat the human race. They created the human race. The stories of these people are supposed to be put together with each civilization, whether it was the Sumerians, the Nubians, the Egyptians. It's all an ongoing story of creation and how we got here to this, till we get to this day where we have a greater understanding of it. It was all being put together. You understand? We didn't lose the history. Our people lost the history once we started connecting with religion. 
and we start listening to white man, and he he came with his mythological god. His mythological gods came. Uh, he created his mythological gods based on our real supreme beings that walk the earth. How do we know that they really walked the earth? Look at what we built. Look at what we did. Look at us in general. We're not like anybody here. I don't know how many times I could get our people to see it. We're not like everybody here. We're a totally different race of people. We're not part of the human race. We are part of that God race. That's why we should be connecting with them. Notice that nobody connects with the God, with God and the idea of God like our people. The white man don't connect with no God. They, he, he, he tell you he do, but he don't connect with no higher power and no higher intelligence like we do. You understand? We just were taught to connect with him through the way he told us to, but we got a, we got a deeper connection with God. Even though it's backwards due to religion and his, his madness that he connected to it, but we got a different connection with God and everybody else. We have a deeper rooted connection. Reason being is because we are physically connected to God. They're not. You understand that? They connected us to the mythological gods that they created through the Roman and Greek uh, uh, dynastic, through the Roman and Greek uh, period of Jupiter and Zeus, which became Jesus. You understand? They connected us to that, which is false god, but the truth be told, they worship Amun today. The white man, the Freemasons and all of them, they worship Amun, the true and living god. We don't. We don't. We're not connected to that. They are. Look at the pyramids they build. In. Look at how this, how the Masonic structure is built here and how it's structured in this society. That tells you something. Why they are in power and they're the ruling body and we are not. We talk about God and the deities and all this other stuff. And if we had such a strong connection to them like we supposed to have, we'd be in power today. But notice when we were connected to those beings where they, we had random access to that higher intelligence through them and connecting with them, we were in power. We were the ruling powers. We were the ruling body. We were the first Illuminati. We were the first Illuminati. The, 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 the Illuminati today, they know that. They know that. You understand? They know that we were the first light beings. We were the first ones, the real God race. They know that. They're not going to tell you that. They'd rather have us praying in their religion. They'd rather have us praying in their religion. Who are we praying to? Who is God? That's the question that I'm going to answer when we come back. God was a supreme intellectual being that walked to earth with woman and man side by side with the physical manifestations of the black race. It tells you God laid down with women. God was a man. Those supreme beings, those giants who they call what who were actually mental giants, people who were advanced in their thinking, who were highly advanced, damn geniuses on the planet. You understand? People were highly advanced. They laid down with the people who were of the present time and made children with them and produced smarter, advanced people. There was a question in the chat room, should we be praying right now? For what? That's what people in religion do. What we should be doing, like I put in the answer I put in the chat room is that we should be coming together. We should be coming together to form a new covenant in the name of Amen, the true and living God. And we're doing that in the state of Mentel because we're supposed to be receiving the intelligence of Amen on earth. When we say we're mentalists, M-E-N, you see the word men in our word, the word men, right, M-E-N. You see it, it's, be, it's more than just a gender. Notice that word is attached to everything. Mental, men, women, environmental. You'll find that word men, amen. It's in, attached to everything. Means powerful, lords. You understand? Eternal beings, men. So we're supposed to be receiving Amen's knowledge here on earth, the supreme beings. We're supposed to be becoming those supreme beings on earth. We're supposed to re be receiving the intelligence of God on earth, the Amen beings on earth. That's what we're supposed to be doing right now as black people as we're making this transition and this transformation. 
We're supposed to be receiving higher intelligence on earth and coming together as a new covenant. We're supposed to be walking out of the religions of the white man and the Arabs, out of their Islam, out of their Christianity, out of their Judaism, out of their nonsense. We're supposed to be becoming that true, true next level generation of people. That's spoken about in the book of Revelation. See, because that's real. When it's talking about 144,000, it's talking about a new generation of people coming up on the earth. What does the word generate mean? It means to empower. The word generate as in generator means a new powerful people, a people who are regenerating, a people who are becoming empowered again by way of higher knowledge. What is the power? The power is the knowledge of God. Amen. And what is that power? Intelligence, higher intelligence, advanced intelligence from what we have now. Were we not always receiving high? Well, we were receiving higher intelligence when we built those pyramids, when we built those uh, ancient societies, and we built ahead of everybody else. Was not the white man receiving higher intelligence when he brought forth all of those inventions and those technologies in the 20th century? So they got in tune with what we were supposed to be in tune with. While we was on our knees praying and begging, because that's what we were doing when we were praying. We were begging for relief. We were supposed to be receiving the higher intelligence of the God race, who is who are our physical descendants. We were supposed to be receiving from them, not begging them, not coming on our knees. You understand? We're not supposed to be on our knees to nobody. You're supposed to be inheriting this power on earth today, receivers of God's higher intelligence. But you have to understand what God is. Amen is God. He is a supreme intellectual being. The true architect of the universe. Now, when the white man said in masonry, he know what he means. He knows that Amen, and even in the so-called scientific world, see, that's the game they play with our people when they tell you Negroes and metaphysics who follow that stupidity that, uh, you know, the uh, 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 Things just came into order and whatnot, and you like that because it feeds your ego that you don't have to be up under anybody or that you don't have to look to anybody on a higher level. So you like that whole teaching of metaphysics, but they even tell you in science that, you know, a higher they, – they refer to uh, 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 the higher power as the higher intelligence. They do that. They do that for a reason because they know that a higher intelligence was involved in the creation of this planet, but the, they con the black man and, to, and the black woman to, to, to disconnect them with that. Telling you, you ain't got nothing to do with that. Telling you to become metaphysicians. You understand? Some made up philosophy from some Greek homosexuals. And y'all falling for that. That's really heavy with our people today. Don't you understand? Make your connection with that supreme power. Notice in that film, uh, uh, the white man showing you who God is. Why did they pick Morgan Freeman to be God in that movie, Bruce Almighty and Evan Almighty or whatever the hell Almighty and those? Why did he, why did he pick um, Morgan Freeman, a black man? Why? Was he letting you know something? They could have got any white man to play it. Why did they get Morgan Freeman? Are they trying to show you something? Sarah Silverman, a Jewish white woman comedian, she was um, she made something about um, something about God and whatnot. She was talking in her comedy show, and God, the God she showed was a black man. So what is they what is they saying to you that you're not getting? They know something you don't. They putting a black man up as God. You understand? The evidence is clear. But what are you black men still doing? A lot of y'all still doing in church. In y'all mind, the white man is still God. You understand? You putting up images of some mulatto and then turn around talking about the black man is God, but you got the image of a mulatto up. You understand? Either the black man is God or he's not. Either the black woman is a goddess or she's not. See, we left off the other end of that. The black man and black woman are God and goddess. You are a God race. Stop getting on your knees and praying. Stop looking for some higher power. You are the higher power. But you don't want to connect to that. You don't want to become that. You don't want to accept God as a supreme intellectual being. You don't want to accept that in yourself to open your mind. You still want to be caught up in the past. How do you cut yourself off from God? By staying stuck in the past. Because what's in the past? Uh, uh, confusion. What do I mean by that? What's in the past? Confusion. Y'all, in the past, they didn't know nothing about no God. 
When you was a Muslim, they didn't know nothing about God. I just told you they whole thing is praying to the east to some unseen God in, in, in the east or praying to the east. They don't even know why the hell they praying to the east. But when actuality, what the high the high Muslims and the ones who are Masons and Shriners, they know that they praying to the east because they praying to where Egypt is, where Amun sits. That's really where they're praying to. But they're not going to tell the ignorant Muslims that. The Muslims, they just follow it. They'll just follow whatever anybody else is doing. They just praying because they see everybody else doing it. And Negroes, you know, we'll follow anything. We'll follow a rolling ball. Whatever, whatever somebody tells us, the majority of our people will follow. As long as, you don't, as long as the person don't look like us. If it's a white man, it's an Arab, we're going to follow it. You understand? We don't even think about it. We didn't question none of that. We didn't question how is it that you presented Jesus Christ to us as a white man, yet that all that stuff supposedly took place in the Middle East. We didn't question how it is that you presented Jesus Christ to us, but yet you, as a white man, yet you tell us you don't. You tell us nobody knows how God looks. So how can he have a white son? Nobody questioned that. Nobody questioned the fact that you know that Jesus name or the, uh, where it come from is a Greek and a Latin, or actually a Latin or a Greek name. Yet this man's supposed to be a Hebrew. Nobody questions that. Y'all just go with it because the white man say it. Now you Negroes go with this whole metaphysic thing of, you know, the Big Bang Theory and things just happened where just something just happened out of there and things just got that way. But how do things just get that way? You know, how do things just fall in order? Nothing falls in order. That's like me, like I said, that's like me taking, taking a bag of chips and throwing it up in the air and then expecting them to all fall back in the bag in order. They're not going to fall back in the bag. They're going to fall all over the place. If I put a bomb somewhere and explode it, everything's going to go all over the place. It's not going to go into an order. So that's stupidity. Our people, whatever the white man say, we don't think. We just accept it. We don't use our intelligence. Your intelligence and your, your common or chosen sense, we don't say common sense no more in the state of Mintel. We say chosen sense because a lot of our people don't have any sense no more. Y'all sense is basically wrapped around the white man's, uh, uh, you know, around his anus. You know what I mean? Y'all sense, y'all sense is connected to him. Y'all don't think for y'all. So, so now it's about chosen sense, the people who have the ability to think. When these things are presented to you, when the white man says something to you or anybody, y'all don't even think about it too much anymore. Y'all just go with it. Because y'all don't become too lazy to think. And your ability to think is a chosen gift from the supreme intellectual being. That is your connection to God, the ability to think. That's your connection to God, your ability to reason, to think. You could tell the rest of the human race, they don't have any real – they don't deal with logic. See, the white man will tell you logic is something he came up with and intelligence is something he came up with. So you don't think that's of God or of the supreme being. You don't think that. He has no intelligence about nothing. That's why he could allow – he could sit up here and push homosexuality to people as something – as being normal. When it goes against the biological order and structure of people. How can you push that as normal when it goes against the biological order and structure of the human race or the human creation? How do you push that as logical? How do you push that as uh, normal? That's abnormal. But that's what y'all accept. That's what they got you accepting. You understand that? How do you push the idea of the Big Bang Theory where everything is just all just just banged in and everything just came into in, into existence by way of an explosion and that don't even make sense if you blow up something it's going to um it's going to go out all over the place not in an order but that's what y'all accept and then the black man has got the nerve to sit up here and argue and debate with somebody about what makes sense and what don't make sense but you accepted this madness of the white man or you accepted his religions for all these years since you've been here and you didn't question it and he's showing you today by putting the image of a black man up as God, uh, um, like Morgan Freeman and, uh, and like Sarah Silverman did. By putting the image of a black man up as God, he's showing you the truth. And y'all still wouldn't accept it. You still won't accept it. You don't need to get on your knees and pray. You've been pray. You've been made pray already. You've been prayed upon by the churches. You've been prayed upon by religion. They don't put their hand in your pocket and took you niggas money. Took your money, ripped you off, set up churches in your community. Like I said, if the church and religion was meant to help you, why are there so many in your in your neighborhood and it's not doing nothing? Why is it not doing anything? 
because they don't understand what God is. They got their understanding from the white man. They're not connected to no God. Everything, the only reason the black man even pray to God is, like I said, out of fear. Because you've been made afraid of the supreme being. You've been made afraid of your own ascension. You become a spook. You understand? In your own ascension. You have no idea what God is, logically. You have no idea that what you're praying to is nothing. When you should be doing and connecting and doing and bringing out that power in yourself as a group. You want to see God's power at work? You want to see the true and living God's power at work? Y'all supposed to come together as a collective, as a covenant. Notice when our people come together as a covenant, as God was when he was with his, you know, when they used the word God and angels, which is really a society or civilization of supreme beings, notice that they got everything done. They, it says in the Bible, God created, let us make man in our image and after our likeness. So they letting you know it was a collective thing. You understand? When y'all do this prayer thing, y'all trying to connect to God as individuals. Y'all taught right early in religion to look at God in an individual mindset amongst yourselves. God is my personal savior. You understand? That's what you taught in religion. You know what I mean? Selfishness. But when you have an ultra-standing, when you have a greater understanding of what God is as a group, your connection becomes stronger. There's no need to pray. Because all y'all doing nine times out of ten when you're praying is you're begging for something. You're asking for something. You're not willing to live out and live that life out of a God in the flesh. You are, as black people, the, ma the natural manifestations of God. You're not creations of God. You are a manifestation of God. What is the difference? The difference is, is that you physically come from God. The creation is something that they took that, um, according to the story, God took from the earth and took from other elements and whatnot and made something, made a man and shaped a man and all that other. That's the creation. You understand? And breathed life into it and gave it, a, gave it animation and created the, um, the movement of the human race. But the human race is not from God. You understand? It tells you that God took clay and molded man. and so He didn't say he took a piece of himself. All he said was he blew into man. That's the biblical explanation. And it makes sense because this is why mankind is disconnected from God. That's why they don't understand God because you're not from God. You are a creation of God. That's like me taking uh, um, that's like me taking wood and elements that's, a, or, that's already in existence and hammering something together. I didn't take it from me. I took it from things that I created from something and made. You understand? And created something else from that. Creatures, uh, uh, single celled amoebas, and life forms that are not of me. Things that I, you know, things that little junk that I had in the corner that I took and hammered something into and fashioned something into. That's your human creation. But when I say the black man and black woman are the natural manifestations of God, you came out of the genetics and the bloodline of God. That's why you don't look like everybody else. Look at your hair growing up in the air. Look at your skin. I keep saying this. They're giving you that clue. They're talking about the son of man. Which they, the son of man, which they give that lie about, they give the name Jesus to. When they tell you the son of man had woolly hair and dark skin and whatnot, as though it was burnt in the furnace, they telling you that that supreme being or that son of man is a black man. They're telling you that. You understand? That almond being is a black man. So-called black man. You don't look like everybody else here, and they know that. That's why you're treated as an outcast here, because you are of the God race. You understand? You are of the God race. They are not. They are creations of the God race, and the whole thing is to enslave the gods. You understand? The 5% are sit up here, and they talk about, you know, oh, the black man is God, and this, that, and the third, and whatnot. No, when we say we God... When we talk about the supreme intellectual being, the supreme intellectual beings, you're supposed, the black man and black woman are supposed to be in a state of becoming God. You're not gods yet. God is a state of becoming advanced beings or evolving into a higher race of being. That's what God is. You're always in the stage of becoming that. 
You understand? It's not we're there yet. There is no there yet. There is no God. You know why you know that? Because if you black men talked about in the five percent that the black man's God, then how come you not doing anything godly? How come y'all acting like niggas? How come y'all ain't in control of your own lives? So don't give me that crap about y'all gods. Y'all not no gods. You understand that? Just like the white man is not a devil. Y'all supposed to be in a stage of becoming. You understand? You're, you, got, you don't know. You're not on that evolutionary track of becoming no supreme being because so, you think you're there and you're not there. That's your ego at work again. That's why we can't have an evolution and we can't come to the stage of where we want to come to because you black men think you gods already. You're supposed to understand that you're in a stage of becoming that. And how do you come together and understand that? By coming together in a new covenant. By dumping out all the old beliefs that you have, because even when you teach that 5% of stuff or that Islam stuff, it's all coming out of Freemasonry and Islam, and we got to dump all that off. Because you won't accept the higher intelligence of God with the old ways of thinking in your head that got implanted by the white man and other races. God is constantly, the almond beings, that futuristic being, or they, your higher self is constantly trying to reach to yourself in this state right now. We're constantly in a state of becoming, but we can't come to that state. You understand? We can't come to that state until we overcome this madness that was put in our head, until we dump all this garbage out that was put in our head. Whether it's religion, Islam, Christianity, Judaism, Masonry, all this nonsense that y'all got and that y'all trying to sound heavy and deep and talking to people, we got to dump that out, man. This is not a game. Because an evolution is taking place amongst our people right now, the ones of our people who are in tune. But y'all got to stop this nonsense and stop trying to, you know, I'll, I'll accept this part of it and I'll accept this part. Accept it all and forget everything that you learned beforehand because it don't matter. Everything that our people learned beforehand in religion, like I said, that was, that was people trying to get an understanding. But we now in a, in a position where we're supposed to have a greater ultra-standing of what we're becoming. But you have to dump out the old ways of thinking to make room for the new. We did that in the state of Mintel. We went past religion. We done blew past religion. God, the Amen being, Amen, the true and living God, is giving us things from beyond the sun. Yeah, you're right. There is nothing new under the sun because everything in this society, everything on this planet moves in a rotation. So everything repeats itself. But when you get beyond this, uh, beyond this planet, when you get beyond this solar system, things are going to come from outside to alter the circle. New knowledge will come in and break the circle. You understand? To advance the people. Those ones who are in tune, if you know what I'm talking about in the language I'm using, new knowledge will come from beyond the sun, beyond the solar system to break the circle to advance the new people. The people who are in tune. But you people who constantly want to do the same thing over and over again, who are caught in this rotation, you're not going to go through that evolution. You're going to still keep praying. You're still going to keep praying to the East and be Muslims and five percenters and Israelites and Christians and all this other nonsense. You're going to keep doing this post-millennium, this um, pre-millennium stuff. The millennium was opening up a new door. Amin was con making connection with his people in this day and time. This is what it was talking about when the religious world was talking about the world was coming to an end. That meant their old world was going out, but y'all keeping it going because y'all want to hold on. This is this is straight up serious. We moving on. There's an evolution taking place. Those of our people who are in tune. We're picking up where we were left where we got left off at. See, we was interrupted mentally. You understand? We was interrupted. Our evolution was interrupted in ancient Egypt six thousand years ago when we was building pyramids and putting in new societies. Our evolution was interrupted. By what? By the religions of mankind, by his philosophies, by his enforced philosophies on us, we were interrupted. So now we got to uh, get back in tune with, with who we are. We are those Amen beings. Start with Amen. Amen is God. The white man knows it. The, high, the elite knows that. Amen is God. There is no Allah. That's an Arab God that they created. For the Arabs to follow. There is no Jesus. That's a Greek Roman God that they created for the Christians to follow. And, uh, and don't let me get started on the Yahweh, El, and all that. Those are all 
more gods that they created for the Israelites and the Jews to follow. We're not following that. Follow the true and acknowledge the true and living God within yourself, not by way of religion, but within yourself as a collective, as a new covenant. You understand that? We're supposed to be be in a state of becoming a new covenant in this day and time, a new covenant of receivers, receiving higher intelligence on earth. That's what it's about. Amun is a supreme intellectual being. Has not his creation, though does, does not his creations have intelligence laced through all out it? Higher intelligence, everything Amun created, those Amun beings created, is based in higher intelligence. Everything. So we're supposed to be connecting with that. The God of religion is an imagination of it was created from the imagination of mankind. He looked at our images of the supreme beings, the deities, and from that he cre- he grafted his image of God, his false gods, his um, mythological gods, Zeus, uh, Krishna, Brahma, Brave, all the East Indian gods. They got them from us, and they gave them their own names, and they put those gods in their image and after they liked us. And they flipped it around on us and got us to worship their false mythological gods. This is where you get the gods of Jesus and all these people today that our people still caught up in. These are mythological gods, man. From Zeus and, and and Jupiter. God's true identity is Amun. Back in the back before when they had the um they you know they they eventually they, they got rid of the Ankh and, and they had the um I forget the cross they have, I forget what they call it, but the the Christians had the cross where they had the circle on top and then eventually as they started to the church started to grow, they cut the circle off at the top and it just became too uh, two um, lines crossed, and they took the circle off, which represented the woman's vagina. They took it off, and the penis crossed in the vagina, which 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 the aunt really represented the coming together of man and woman, the penis and the vagina, to bring forth a new generation via children, the God race. They, that's why they tell you that the aunt is a fertility symbol, a sex symbol. That's what that is. It represented the coming together of man and woman, those God deities. But as I said, Amun is not an Egyptian god. That's a lie. You understand? Amun is not an Egyptian deity. Amun is a celestial being. You understand? When I say a celestial being, Amun is, this. that name was before this world, before this planet. That is a race of people. Like the human race, there's an almond race. You see the word in as in Enki and Enlil from the Sumerians, that's the same in or men, that's the same almond which came into Egypt. It's the same people, it's the same name. It's just that those people, based on their language or their limitations in language, they were trying to pronounce it and got to almond. And notice they took that name almond all the way up into English today and they didn't change it. So that was a continuing word for a reason. That name is beyond Egypt. So when we're talking about Amun, A-H-M-E-N, yeah, we're not talking about no Egyptian god, though Amun was in Egypt. They spoke about Amun in Egypt. He is not an Egyptian mythological god. They gave a physical, uh, 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 they, gave, they, they made a sculpt of the physical, um, a physical description of Amun, round-faced black man with a crown on his head, the ram's crown. Which is why in the so-called uh, secret societies, they do the ram's horn symbol, which you call the devil symbol, which is really not a devil symbol. It's the symbol of Amun, which is the ram's crown. You understand those two fingers, which they call the Kornutu, which they call the devil symbol. There is no devil. You understand that? That's something that was created in religion. Just like God. God is Amun. All, when you say good and evil, when you say God and the devil, you're actually talking about two... Uh, um, Two personalities, good and bad. You understand? Good and evil, which exist in a man. Or Amen, good and evil. Sometimes Amen is good, sometimes he's not, based on his, uh, uh, based on the mood. Just like our people are, we ain't no different than God. We're no different than Amen. We are Amen beings. We have sometimes we good, sometimes we bad. You understand? I, I can't get no plainer than that. Sometimes we good people, sometimes we bad. 
Sometimes we're not in a good mood. Sometimes we're not nice people. God is not always a nice guy. Or Armin is not always a nice guy, obviously. You understand? But neither are we. And if we come from Armin, we understand that. Well, he's no different than us, just advanced in intelligence. There's no difference between God, who you're calling God, the supreme being, and us other than he's higher in intelligence. Way, 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 way more advanced than us. God walked the earth as a black man. He went through the same things the black man went through in this day and time because we all won. God liked women. God had sex. Yes, God had sex. He had women. God wasn't some asexual faggot like they try to paint in the church. They didn't have sex with no women and things like that. They tell you in the damn Bible that the God and those beings, they came down and they laid with women. You understand? Obviously, if we come out of God and we manifestations of God, God had to lay down and have sex too, right? He had to have a penis too, right? Now, I know to you, a lot of you Negroes who caught up in the church, that's sacrilege. You understand? That God laid down and had sex. Because you look at a natural, a natural, uh, uh, a natural uh, uh, bodily act of a man and a woman laying together, they taught you in church to look at that as something wrong with that. But it ain't stop you niggas from laying down and being horny, the horniest people on earth and having sex with one another. It ain't stop that. You know, so let's knock off the BS. The same people that taught you this nonsense about God being asexual and not having sex and whatnot. And then they tell you, and then they tell you in the thing that, um, you know, they kind of in a way hint to it that God is the father of, of Mary and whatnot and that he sent somebody down to have sex. All that nonsense. Look. God was a man that walked the earth. He had sex with a woman. He had goddess beings. You had female, uh, high supreme intellectual female beings. It's like I said, you all came out of advanced beings. It's all us. Those who are in tune, it's all us. They hide that. They want God to be alone and not have sex and be in this realm of, you know, because they look at sex as dirty. You understand? How can sex be dirty if God created sex? If we had, you know, he put sex in the mind and lust in our minds, how could that be dirty? These are the things, see, this is the misunderstandings we've been talking about. Advanced thinking. Know who God is. Because by you knowing who God is, you know who you yourself are becoming. I'm going to say it again. By us knowing who God is, then we know what we're becoming. Talking about God is talking about our future as black men and black women. As a God race, not as ones who are worshiping God. We're not worshiping any gods. We're not a religion. We're not, we weren't supposed to worship no gods. We were supposed to be in a stage of becoming gods. You raise your children to become gods. You understand that? You raise them with a God complex. And we're going to be talking about that in the state of mentel, in the Superman and Superwoman project. Developing the God complex in the black man and black woman. See, because the white man, they got the God complex. That's why they can do our people the way they do our people. They know that they really are your gods in this day and time on the phys- in the physical realm, that you defer to them. They know that. They put they 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 took the they took the the idea, they're taking the idea of God out of your head and replacing it with their image. They taking the idea of the true and living God who is re- supposed to be representative of you out of your head and replacing their image with that. So you look to them as God, and they've been doing that ever since they got you off the damn slave ship. You understand that? You know, God did walk the earth. God was not alone. God walked with a race of God, with a race of advanced beings. We have not outgrown the idea of God. We Once we start talking about we've outgrown the idea of God or the supreme being, then we're cutting off our future existence. We're cutting off who we're supposed to be becoming. So a lot of you bonehead niggas out there who studying this metaphysics crap and all this other stuff, they're teaching this nonsense about, oh, we don't need no gods. We are our own gods. There ain't no God. And whatnot. Yeah, how's that working out for you? How's that working out for you? Because let's, let's, be, let's be for real here. Let's stop with the BS. Y'all worship the white man. Y'all follow his law, statutes, and commandments. Don't give me this crap about you, your own God. You ain't your own God, nothing. You understand? You you buying Yankee caps and smoking weed and wearing Nike sneakers. You niggas ain't no gods, man. You follow his law, statutes, and commandments, and whatever he tell you to put on your ass, you put on your ass. 
So don't give me this crap about you gods. So let's stop with the god games. If we're going to go into that state of becoming, because that's what we're talking about here. We, we, this is grown-up talk here. We're dealing with future intelligence here, becoming those god beings like we're supposed to. I told you our evolution was interrupted. Now let's get back to where we're supposed to be um, becoming. And the only way we do that is by severing our ties with these false beliefs that we had in the, pre- in the previous millenniums. We're not producing no more Muslims in this new millennium. We're not producing no more five percenters, Christians, uh, 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 Israelites, and all that. That's dead, man. We are mentalists. We are receivers of the higher intelligence of the almond race because we constantly, as we stand here, we're supposed to be, as we sit, as we open our minds up, we're supposed to be receiving higher intelligence, becoming gods, real gods. Not no fake God that's sitting around here building, talk, talking about we building all we y'all niggas doing is talking. I'm talking about building real structures and societies and creating a greater civilization on earth now. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in the heavens, that future world. Where we are making interplanetary travel, where we are advancing mentally, where we are going beyond pyramids and stuff like that. Because the pyramids, we're supposed to be looking at the pyramids like that's, like that's nothing. That's supposed to be elementary school, man. We're supposed to be on other planets already as black men and black women, advanced people. We're supposed to be ta- our children supposed to be talking about our own children supposed to be sitting down talking about cutting open chests and, and dissecting things and doing operations. Our baby's supposed to be ta- in medical school at 15 years old. You understand that? They're not supposed to be sitting around being rappers, getting pregnant, having goddamn abortions and all this madness that y'all got, and y'all sitting in the church praying, hoping things get better. Being sports athletes running or being entertainers for the goddamn white man jumping and, and bucking and, and, and singing and, and, and shaking your ass for the white man. Your baby's supposed to be in medical school at 13, 14 years old. Coming up with scientific equations, coming up with ideas to, be, um, to go to other planets, transfiguring. That's what we're supposed to be with. And anybody who don't think that's possible, then you know what? Get off this radio broadcast, man. Get the hell off this broadcast because you're against the evolution of our people. You understand? Anybody don't think that's possible, like I said, we stirring that in the state of mental. we bringing up the almond race, the supermen, superwomen project. we doing that, bringing about a higher evolution mentally in our people and physically. This is what we advocate. Anybody who don't think that's possible, who ain't with it, uh, I don't know, that sounds like rhetoric. Uh, I'm going back to Egypt and worshiping the pyramid. The pyramid is finished, man. They done. They ruins. You people want to put all your energy into that madness, it's gone, man. They ain't nothing but a bunch of goddamn blocks now. They don't mean nothing. The only reason you niggas even care care about Egypt is because the white man cared about it. Let's move on, man. This is dealing with the future. We're not interested in the past no more. We know we was Egyptians. We was Africans. Okay, fine. We understand where we came from. Now it's time to move on. That's where we're going. Sometimes we got to get passionate up here on these radio waves and whatnot. We got to do that. That's passion in the black man voice. Not teaching. We're up here. I'm not up here teaching and whatnot. I'm not up here teaching. People don't like the delivery and whatnot, but it's not about that. It's about people that's doing real things. You understand? You know? It's about doing real things. You don't have to say you God. Be God. Be those almond beings. Come together as a new people. Like I said, black people get hung up on too much on, you know, how things are said, you know, how it's being said. Don't listen to how it's being You know, certain people it, it express themselves in different ways. Sometimes I get hyped, man. You know what I mean? Because when you're dealing with the evolution of your people, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? When you're dealing with the evolution of your people, man, it's not a game, man. A lot of y'all, this is a game, man. Y'all, 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 you know, a lot of y'all want to sit up here and hotep your way through this and and, 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 and ashe your way through this and black power your way through this. Man, that, that that's not going to work, man. Y'all want to sit up here and listen to a bunch of niggas talking about uh, uh, writing books about keep writing books about Egypt and the pyramids. Look, man, we're not dealing with that, man. 
We in the state of Mintel ain't dealing with that. We doing something about the evolution of our people. You niggas want to sit on the sidelines and wait for things to happen, sit on your hands and go ahead, man. We look at, we out here searching for our people, the ones who ain't mentally dead. You niggas are still caught in Egyptology, metaphysics, religion, and all that. You mentally dead, man. Y'all, y'all caught in the past, man. We dealing with the future, man. If you're not moving to the future, have a nice day, man. It's Pastor Ray Hagans and pro, 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 professor, professor Walter Williams teaching the truth. I don't know who they, you know, no, they not teaching the truth. I don't know what they teach. I don't know what they teaching. I don't know what they teach. If ain't nobody teaching about the evolution of our people, then they ain't teaching the truth. If you still talking about God and Jesus and talking about somebody named Jesus is a black man, when there is no Jesus anyway, so stop this Jesus crap. There is no such thing as Jesus. You understand? There is the son of man. You understand? There is the son of man who is going to come to raise the minds of our people and raise them onto the evolution of our people and bring them back to Amun. And bring them and let them bring them back to the knowledge that they are almond beings. If these niggas not teaching that, then they teaching lies, man. If you still calling yourself a past and reverend and you ain't dropped that goddamn cross, then you telling lies, man. If you still coming with a star and crescent, you telling lies, man. If you coming with a six pointed star, you telling lies. If you coming with some onk in this day and time, man, then everything you did is in the name is lies, man. You ain't coming to the truth. You're supposed to be coming with that power source right now. The power source is the truth. You look at what we come in in the state of Intel, we talking about the future knowledge, higher intelligence, advanced intelligence coming from the true and living God, Amen. For that future race, raising those Mentelians up, the Mentelian race. Who are the Mentelian race? The receivers in this day and time. Yes, we have outgrown the, um, that, the religious idea of God. Yes, we have outgrown that religious idea of God. You understand? But we have to come into that greater ultra standing. I said it, ultra standing, complete comprehension of what God is in reference to who we are. The white man ain't got no pictures of God because he ain't never seen God. We saw God. He came as a black man. We saw him. He ain't gonna present. He know what the picture of God really look like. That's why he give. Why you think he's showing you Morgan Freeman? He telling you right now. You understand that? Why would he do that? God is not unseen. He's constantly moving in his people. He's sending mental messages via telepathy to his people. That's real. Telepathy is nothing to God. You understand? That's supposed to be a capability we're supposed to be developing and growing into as almond beings. We had God misinterpreted to us. You understand? People lie to us to cause confusion. You understand? They t- they trying to get us to follow these doctrines and philosophies today where it says that God don't exist. They trying to get us to follow this stuff because they want us to cut off our future. That's the whole thing. They want you to cut off your future. When you cut off the idea of God, you're cutting off your future existence. You're cutting off your evolution. You're cutting off where you're supposed to be becoming, those almond beings. We're going to replace God, the name God, with Amen in a minute. And everybody in the state of Mentel is saying Amen. Amen is the true and living God. Not Allah, not Jesus, Jehovah. Those are some Arab and white gods. We're not following no more Arab and white gods. We're not following no African gods. You understand that? Because the Africans ain't did a damn thing. The last time our people was in a state of evolution and building and was in tune with God is when we had Amen with us. When we was building them pyramids until we let the damn white man and everybody else come in there and we start being there on that get-along gang spirit and letting everybody come amongst us like we do all the time. And then, uh, then, the, message gets, uh, 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 then the message gets sidetracked. Then the intelligence goes to the wayside. Then we start believing a bunch of BS. Then we start letting people do our thinking for us. That's what happened to our people. That's why we're in the state we're in today. I'm going to take a call, 914. Hi, 914. How, are you? how are you doing, sir? All right. Good. Um, first, I just wanted to say this is a great broadcast tonight. Thank you. I'm learning a lot. Um, but I do. I have a question, mm-hmm. and I hope this is not taking you off a topic. Mm-hmm. I understand that we are 
the creation of God uh, of Amun, right? The manifestations of Amun. There's a difference. The right. creation the creation is creatures and things that were um tossed together to create the human race. The manifestations are the actual physical beings that came out of the Amun race. We came from them as fully advanced beings. Okay. We wasn't shaped and created like the human race. We came out of the almond race. Okay. 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 Mm. And I want to know, so where did the white man come from? The white man is a part of the creation. He came out of the East Indians, who your original Hindus are your black race. They came out of them. The white man comes from the East Indians or your Aryan race. They are your true Aryans. The uh, uh-huh. East Indians and the white man, when they tell you the story about how the white man came about and whatnot, and Hitler, he tra- he traced the uh, uh, origin of the white race back to the East Indians. You understand? Who are your original black race? We're not black people. That's the title right. that the white man gave us, but the, right. real, the real black people are your East Indians. They are your black people of the human race. Your human race are comprised of your Asiatic people, which is your East Indians. They're not our people, your East Indians, who are your black mm-hmm. race, your Asians, who are your yellow race, and your white man. Everything, everything, they all got straight hair, like mm-hmm. dogs, like the beast. Right. They all got yeah. straight hair that grows mm-hmm. down, and our hair grows up, and it's woolly. We're not the same race of people. Exactly. Our uh-huh. skin texture is different and everything. They are part of the creation. We are part of the manifestation. Okay. Okay. All, all right. right. Okay. <laughs> I just want to ask that question. <laughs> okay, okay. Right. Like I said, this is this is the knowledge, the knowledge that's going to make sense to our people as we look at ourselves. Because even if you're not going to find that in the book and whatnot, you'll see that you can look and tell that our people are not the same as the rest of everybody here. That's why everybody hates us here. This is the real root of racism because the white man and the rest of the other races know we're not part of the human race. Now, I know that sounds crazy to a lot of Negroes, because, and the reason why it sounds crazy is because a lot of y'all got a lot of the white man and the rest of the human blood in y'all, in y'all veins right now. A lot of us been mixed down, so a lot of us carry the genetics of the white man and the other races, so y'all feel some sort of way or some connection with them. That's why, you know, y'all don't have a problem. A lot of you black women, not saying you, but a lot of you black women got a pro- no problem with laying down with the white man and the other races because you got your blood coursing through his veins. And sometimes y'all even come out and say that, oh, well, I got... White, I got German, French in my family, yeah. whatnot. That's why you against the evolution of our people. Yeah. You don't really feel you're black until a white man show you that you a nigger to him. To all that you talking about, you got this in your background that don't matter to the white man. You a nigger to him. It just use you. Mm-hmm. You know, and that, and like I said, we're not. If like I said, all you gotta do is open your eyes and see that we're not like everybody here. Exactly. That's real. I know. That's that's reality. A lot of our people yeah. don't want to accept that. It's right in your face. You can mm-hmm. see it. <laughs> All right. You know, so. Okay, pro- I don't want to take you from the mm-hmm. broadcast. Okay. I know you're going to roll, and it's good. Mm-hmm. But I just had that question that I had to ask. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, sister. Okay. Thanks for calling in. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, I'm looking in the chat room and seeing seeking Ma said what process we would dumb down through a process. The process was religion. The process was getting us to accept their philosophies, and y'all still accept them to this day. You you accept them, you know. And this to, and this point, we have to develop an ultra standing about who we are. I gave the breakdown of who we are. You understand? It's coming to us in this day and time of who we are. The knowledge of who we are, it's like actually we were always receiving or always in a state of reception of higher intelligence from the almond race. You understand? Because we represent them in this physical form. However, we wasn't receiving the reception. We wasn't receiving the reception of the almond beings because we were accepting and blocking out that re- we were we were blocking out that reception because we were receiving and we were taking in the ignorance of the white man and the rest of the religions. We were accepting his philosophy. See, by getting him, by getting us to accept their philosophy and accepting their religion, you know, by getting us well, even okay, seeking not even though you say not all of us follow religion, 
a lot of y'all, even if y'all following Egyptology, you understand? Even though y'all following a lot of things of the past, whether y'all following this African religion or spirituality, all that come from the white man in some way, shape, or form. Or all of it is off from the connection of the almond beings. Don't think that because everybody, the people you talking about Africans, the Africans don't follow almond. A lot of our people, who, people that look like us are not us. It's beyond just a racial thing and people who just dark skin. A lot of the people are, a lot of our people are off tune and they find they making up gods and following them. You understand? But how you could tell who the true and living gods are or the true almond race are, the true god beings are based on what they built and what they left here and the knowledge that the people are taking in from them and building on in the same time. The Africans, with all their African voodoo gods and dolls and wooden statues, ain't built a damn thing, man. The white man came in there and took their land and basically whooped their ass and took all their stuff, and that's it. And they living in huts, man. That's the truth. A lot of people don't want to accept that. Even if you accept the spirituality, that came out of religion, too. You understand? That's, that spirituality came out of religion. That's a, that's, a, that's a Latin word, which means espiritus, which means air or wind. Which is what they thought God was, some hidden spook mystery, um, some wind or some air or some unseen force. God is not the true and living God. Amen is not some unseen force. He was a man that walked the earth. That's a fact. They have pictures. Our people have pictures of them, but you got niggas that won't even accept that. And even, even It's like they calling our people lies, but you accept the, the, the lies of the white man, though, that he's some spirit or some spook or some ghost in that sky that we can't see. You accept his religious beliefs. In some way, shape, or form, our people accept his religious beliefs or his ideologies or his philosophies. I don't care if you call it religion, metaphysics, pan-Africanism. It's all linked to him in some kind of way. Not all of our people connected to the supreme being or that supreme intelligence. Not all of our people are connected to that God race. You understand? Our people, the true and living people who are of the almond race are all over the world. They refer to in the Bible as the 144,000, those children of Israel. You know what I mean? But it's not Israel anymore. We are evolving out of that whole Israel thing. And the only reason why Israel applies to our people is because it talked about our bondage in that book. That's real. You know what I'm certain things we not Certain things in the Bible do tell the truth. It talked about our bondage here in America. That's a reality. You understand? All the other stuff about Jesus, well, you got to be able to decipher the book and know that certain things, they changed names, added things, lied and whatnot. And you have to know which is factual based on the physical description of what actually took place. Our people were in bondage for 400 years under, in a strange land that wasn't our own. That's a reality. That's not nothing I'm making up. That's not nothing the Bible meant. That really happened. A revelation is the, the book of Revelation is real. It's going on today. You see America in there. You see Israel in there. You see Rome. You see Rome in there. You see England in there. You see all the world power. You see China in there. You see all that in there today. That's a reality. That's not no made up belief. That's real. All this is going on today. The book of Revelation is a future book, and it talks about the rise of a future people that will come out of the Israelites, meaning the black race, because in the in in the um. In the Bible, Israel is the black race, and the children of Israel are those descendants who will come out of the black race, a new race of beings who won't have that name children of Israel anymore. They will receive their own name, and they will receive God's knowledge in their forehead. Amen's knowledge in their forehead means their third eye, which is their mind. They will receive his intelligence. That's what that means, because whenever prophets or so-called prophets in the Bible or whatever they call them received uh, knowledge from God, it was future knowledge. What is future knowledge? Higher intelligence. Advanced thinking in order to guide them into the future. That's a reality. You understand? You can't be guided into the future talking about past things. That's why it makes me laugh when these Negroes keep talking about Egyptology and metaphysics. Man, them things are of the past. All that's knowledge of the past, and it came from ignorant people who didn't know who God was, man. They didn't understand who the supreme intellectual being was. So what they did was they came up with their own philosophies. They came up with their own uh, um, uh, uh, beliefs. Of what they thought it was, but they was wrong. That eye of God that they put on the dollar bill in the period represents higher intelligence. That is a, more than just a physical eye. That eye represents a mind. It represents a light of intelligence. You understand that? That's what it represents. These things, these philosophies are being created today to get us to go against the knowledge of God and the, and the, the um, acceptance, uh, the, the uh, acknowledgement of the most high. 
because they want us to cut off our future self. They want you to accept the philosophies of the white man again. It's a trick. It's a trick to get you accepting homosexuality, lesbianism, all the things that y'all falling for and accepting in this society. And y'all and y'all doing it. You doing it by cutting off that higher self. He wants you to accept his his, his religion and his religious beliefs. You know? The black man is almond. The black man and the black woman are almond beings, not human. We are the God race. We are the physical manifestations of God on earth. His people are on earth today amongst the black race, not the whole black race. A lot of our people are not part of the almond beings. A lot of you are part of the physical the physical creation. And you know how you know that? That you're not because you're not in tune mentally with this advanced knowledge. You're not in tune with it. So when we say it, it don't register and it don't make sense to our people. A lot of our people are the descendants of the damn Africans. That's the truth. Because the Africans not in tune with nothing. All they in tune with is a bunch of wooden statues and beating on drums. But you notice they ain't built nothing. The true people who are in tune with God are the builders. Not the people who are sitting around beating on drums and waiting for stuff to happen. The traditional people. The doctrine people. The religious people. They are not in tune with no supreme being. You're not in tune with no higher intelligence. You people in religion are not in tune with anything. You are, All you in tune with is the philosophies and the beliefs and the made up doctrines of mankind. That's what you're in tune with. That's why ain't nothing changing for you Negroes in religion. You understand that? That's why they're turning us against the acknowledgement of who God really is. They, by them turning you against the acknowledgement of who God is, they turn you against your future self. We're in a state of becoming. We're not finished in our evolution. The human race is done. There is no evolution for the human race. They're finished. That's why they keep doing the same thing over and over again. You don't notice that? They keep doing the same thing over and over again systematically. And a lot of our people are following them ignorantly. We're supposed to be in a stage of becoming. That God race. A lot of you don't want that, though. A lot of you don't want that. We're supposed to be evolving in the pineal gland, in every physical aspect, in every atomic particle in our body is supposed to be going through an evolution right now. Into that almond race. Ominous. Omni. All that comes from the word omen. Ominous. Omni. You understand that? What is the omni? What is the ominous? Ever present. Omnipotent. Always present. Always powerful. That was supposed to represent our people. You understand that? The God race. They want to mix the God race out. You are the God race. You understand? But you are in a state of becoming. I'm not saying it like the five percenters and things like that. We're not talking about it like that. We're talking about it as, a, as an evolutionary state that we're becoming. And that's what we're teaching in the state of mental, that evolutionary knowledge of mental life, which is producing the almond race, bringing about the almond race. Go to the SOM.info. Go to the SOM.info. We're not teaching Egyptology. We're not teaching five percenters. We're teaching mental life to our people. Bringing out the super men or the super mental beings because super mental beings are almond beings. Those people who are advancing mentally, advancing their intelligence, not by way of that old teaching from the last millennia, but by way of this new knowledge. Those are the people who are evolving into a God race. You can't teach a people knowledge from behind to move them forward into the present. You can't keep teaching them the same thing. We we know about people, we know about the pineal gland, we know about all that stuff, the barathery gland, we heard it all before. Now what else is new? We have to understand first and foremost that we are a totally different species from the humans. Now, like I said, to a lot of our people, that sounds crazy, but it's a reality. We are a totally different species from the human. Once we accept that, then the evolution will begin. Once we come together in the name of Amun, the true and living God, the celestial may not know Egyptian God. Not no uh, 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 Arab God, but the celestial uh, species of who we are, the almond race. Once we come together under that as a collective, as a new covenant, as a new civilization of almond beings, a new civilization, an almond civilization, not a human civilization, but an almond civilization, then you will start to see the evolution take place. 
You understand? But as long as our people keep on with this, we African, we uh, Muslims, we Christians, you understand? We, we Egyptians, we not none of that. We done with that, man. Those identities, we got to cut away from that, man. All of those identities we came about, or came about was supposed to lead us into what we becoming now, the knowledge that we getting that right now, which is the knowledge of mental health. We would receive new knowledge under the sun in this day and time, and we're receiving it. We receiving it. The ones who in tune receiving it. Those of you who not receiving it, those of you Negroes are teaching this garbage about, oh, well, ain't nothing new under the sun, and we heard it. Y'all ain't heard nothing before, man. And if you heard this knowledge before, why y'all ain't doing nothing? Why ain't they sparking you to action? We tired of you reactionary Negroes sitting around here talking this BS about, oh, uh, well, you know, what we supposed to do, you know, what, what y'all trying to do. You niggas that's not part of the action, you got two types of black people in this society. You got actionary black people and reactionary black people. You understand? You got two types of black people. You got your reactionary black people and your action. The majority of our people are reactionary people. You understand? Yeah, the majority of them is are reactionary people. Y'all wait for, in other words, y'all wait for things to happen. You wait for things like Trayvon Martin. You wait for the white man to attack you. You wait for all that. Y'all wait for the white man to put his foot in your ass until y'all want to come together and start being black. Y'all wait for that. In other words, that's reactionary. We actionary people in the state of Intel, well, we just doing things. We're not concerned about what, what's going on, and we constantly in a state of evolution, whether it's coming together, congregating, you understand, trying to build this almond civilization. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're doing. The state of Intel, the SOM.info, that's what we're doing, a new knowledge for a new people, the rising of the almond race out of the black race. That's what we're talking about and advocating in the year 2012 and forward. All you Negroes that want to keep with this old stuff, y'all go ahead, man. We're severing our connection in time. The ones of our people who want this new knowledge, I put myself out there to teach this knowledge of mental life and stand on it based on common knowledge or chosen um, sense and common logic. If, you're not, if our people are not with that and boosting the higher intelligence and bringing this greater ultra standing to our people, man, then go ahead, man. Not talking to you, man. Y'all, y'all wasting time, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all want to sit around here and dwell in the same nonsense because y'all got that Willie Lynch, man. You don't want to accept no teachings or any new knowledge coming from a black man. You want to accept. You want to keep hearing the same thing over and over again because that's your limitation. The ones who are sincere, they're gonna come together because that's all we here for. That's why I do this broadcast for the sincere ones of my people who want that ultra standing. You understand that greater that 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 uh, complete comprehension of our people, or who we are, and the path we have to get on, how we have to come out of that revolutionary state and move into the evolutionary state, come out of this primitive circle or this primitive cycle, you know what I mean, that's controlled by the Luciferians and move into that line or that uh, that line, that linear knowledge of Amun and that role of evolution. That's why back in the day, Dr. York, I never understood what he meant when he talked about traveling that straight and narrow path. Now I understand what he meant by that. We got to be on a straight and narrow path, man. We got to come out of this, that, get back on that evolutionary line, a way out of that revolutionary mindset. You understand that? Well, you said, where does a white man like you fit in that? Where do you fit in it? You fit in me, just me, if you are really a white man. This ain't about race, man. You understand? You go and try to be the best man amongst your people. If you really are sincere, go amongst your people, you understand, and be the best man and promote a, 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 a goodness amongst your people and keep them civilized. You understand? That's that's your part in the world. Be of the elite. Because some of you white people, y'all going to survive into the future. You're going to be of the elite. You know what I mean? I mean of the, of the elite, and we're going to be of the elect. Some of you white people, you tree huggers and you tree lovers, some of y'all meant to be here to help the earth and whatnot, and y'all good, and that's what y'all place is. But y'all not supposed to come amongst the elect. We, we can be separate and still have respect for each other, but it's not about that. It's not about us coming together. It's about us working in unison for the evolution of this world. Y'all can still come, you know what I mean? Go amongst your people and promote understanding and the evolution and be a good man. That's it. 
This ain't about hate the white man and none of this stuff. If you listen to anything else, I'm talking about the evolution of the almond race. And you should want to see the evolution of the almond race because it's going to further the evolution of this world. Because the, when we were taken out of our position in this world, it made everything, it pushed everything upside down. You understand? It pushed everything upside down. Because our people, the majority of our people, they don't hate you and your people. You understand? You are our, you are our children. You are our creation. But you don't want to acknowledge that. It's not downplaying you, but you got to go amongst the rest of the creation, the elite, and foster and care for the earth and the people here. Don't cause harm to anybody. Because if you notice, I got on the black race too. We're not talking. We're not just talking against the white people. We're talking against the blacks too. A lot of them are primitive savages too, and they're gonna go off the planet. We're talking about all these people that are not in unison with the evolution of this planet. The elect. Have our place, and you elite, you have your place. Questions, comments? I think I uh, pretty much answered for the night. You elite, you know who Armin is, the true and living God is. You acknowledge him as a black man. You know he's your creator. He is your creator. He is your father. We are his, you, we, you are his creation. We are his manifestation. But you all come from that supreme God race, and you know that. You understand? I'm not putting anybody down. It's not about racism. It's not about that. It's about an intellectual order that has to take place, a mental power that has to take place that we have to receive in order to move forward into the future. Questions and comments, because we're in the last minutes of our broadcast. I think I pretty much answered everything about the almond race. Go to the SOM.info. You understand? Go to the SOM.info. Like I said, all you people that's, you know, of a good heart, who are sincere, I don't care what color you are, work work amongst your people to make things better. Don't stand in our way. Don't feel like you got to m- mingle and mate with us and be amongst us and whatnot. Go amongst your people and promote goodness on the planet. If you are really good, then we have no problem. It's only conflict when you tell us we can't evolve into ourselves or who we're supposed to be. We don't have no problem with you. We don't hate the white man. I don't hate the white man. I always say that. You understand? I don't blame them for the one. I hate the people who are doing negativity, who stand in the way of the evolution. That go for the black man, the white man, and everybody else who stand in the way of our evolution. You understand? To stand in the way of the mental evolution of our, our reception, the ones who cause causing confusion. I don't care who it is. Whoever the hell is causing confusion, we want you gone. And you will be gone. You understand? Because an evolution is taking place in the new millennium. A new black man is coming out. A new man is coming out of the black race. A new woman is coming out of the black race. You understand that? An almond race is coming. Whether you want to accept it, acknowledge or not, we don't really give a damn. If you want to say I'm teaching Egyptology, that's fine. I'm not teaching Egyptology. The hell with Egyptology. To hell with all that stuff from the past. To hell with Christianity. To hell with Islam. To hell with Judaism. All that nonsense. We said Pan-Africanism, metaphysics. To hell with that. The new people. The Mentelian race. The Mentelian civilization. The receivers on earth. The receivers. The mental receivers. The mind receivers of the almond being. The ones who are becoming. We started the Supermen, Superwomen project in New York City. 2012 May. We're going to be in your city. If you want us, if you want the state of Mentel to come to your city with the Supermen, Superwomen project, we will be there to raise our people. This is how you raise, this is how you bring about a change in the black race. Not by no goddamn politics. Not by some waiting for something like Trayvon Martin to happen or some civil rights. You actually get in there, connect to the mind of God, and bring about the evolution if you are sincere. That's what you do. You know? And it's not going to be you people that's promoting that old stuff. I am the intellectual Nubin Menkares. We about to close out our broadcast. Join us Wednesday night. We're going to discuss something great. I don't know what it is quite yet. If you have any questions, comments, refer to my uh, Facebook page, Intellectual Nubin Menkares. All right? Once again, it's been a good night. We appreciate it. Um, everybody in the chat room that listened. 
Our, our listenership is building up. Like I said, I'm not a radio personality. I'm not trying to be a radio personality. I'm a mentor. I am a teacher to my people. 